Hi everybody, um, so we're going to be making the atomic structure for magnesium. So remember, when you're making an atomic structure, the first thing you have to do is figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons the atom has. Now you can see here that magnesium has an atomic number of 12, which means it has 12 protons. The electrons are equal, so we put 12. Now for the neutrons, you have to do a little bit of calculation. I'm actually going to move this down here. So remember, to find the neutrons, it's protons plus neutrons equal the mass. Now we know that protons is 12 from the atomic number. We're looking for the neutrons. And then the mass, we can look over here, is 24.3, but we round that down to 24. So just like in um, algebra class, we're going to solve this and we're going to get that we have 12 neutrons because we end up subtracting 12 from 24. So in this particular case, the protons, electrons, and neutrons are all equal, but that isn't always the case. Okay, so now we found our protons, electrons, and neutrons. And the next thing that we have to do is we have to draw the nucleus of the atom. So there's our nucleus and remember the nucleus is made out of protons and neutrons. So we go protons are 12 and neutrons are 12. Okay so we have our nucleus made and we put our protons and neutrons in there and now what I think is the tricky part is knowing how many energy levels to put around the atom. So if we take a look here, here's magnesium um, let me try to make that line a little bit fatter so you can see better. So here's magnesium, okay? And if you notice, let me get a pointer here. Um, magnesium is in the third period. There's one, two, three. Periods are the rows across. Now since it's in the third period, we're going to put three energy levels around it. So we go one, and then let me do another one, two, and then one more. Oops, come on. And then we have three energy levels. Let me try to fix that a little bit. So we have three energy levels. And again, that's because magnesium is in the third row down. One, two, three. Okay. So now that we have our three energy levels, we have to start placing the electrons. And I'm going to make the electrons blue. Now remember, we have to get up to 12 because that's how many electrons that um, magnesium has. So the first energy level is very small. It can only hold two electrons. So if you take a look, um, that's not a good color for this. The first energy level, one, two. Okay, so we put two electrons into the first energy level. We've done two so far. Remember, we have to get up to 12, so we've got 10 more to go. Now, to know how many to put in the second energy level, count across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the second energy level can hold up to eight electrons. One, two, oh, that was messy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've done 10 electrons so far. We have to get up to 12. Um, let me try to fix this ring. I don't know how it ended up um, blue. Well, it's blue somehow. Well, anyways, we have two valence electrons left over, so we'll put those in the outer energy level. And I guess I'll make them red because I accidentally made my um, energy level blue. So if we want to check to see if we did it right, we count the electrons. We have to have 12, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 electrons for magnesium.